interesting, our firm is a lot larger than that firm was then, but at that time, this was in the 70s. And the guy who was the lead sales guy in that firm was a guy who probably, the best thing I could compare him to, he, he looked like Franklin Roosevelt before Franklin Roosevelt was confined to a wheelchair. He was a very tall, big guy with rimless glasses, and he was one of the greatest raconteurs I had ever met in my life. This guy could go into a boardroom and tell a joke that had nothing to do with the sales pitch at all and get everybody laughing. He was a great storyteller. And I always admired him, and I used to think to myself, I look nothing like him. You know, how could I possibly be successful in selling? You know, I don't look like him. He's so cool. He's so big. He's so funny. He's so all of this. And, um, and then I learned that everybody has their own style. There's no two salespeople who are alike. They're all different. So what you look like doesn't matter at all. Um, you don't have to be good looking. Uh, you don't have to be cool. Um, I think you do have to be thoughtful. Uh, I think you do have to be a lot of the things that we listed <coughs> over there. Um, this book even contends, uh, in contrast to some of the things that we were talking about before, that you do not even have to be comfortable with people. But you have to be disciplined to appear as if you're comfortable with people. And that some of the most successful salesmen <coughs> Uh, our, uh, and I, saleswomen, whatever, uh, I'm going to use the term just generically, it are just, they're not people who are that even social. But what they do is they understand the discipline of what needs to be done. And they are very disciplined. And that's one thing in business that is a fundamental, if you're not disciplined, you can't possibly be successful because you can't always do what you feel like doing. You have to do what you have to do. And I hopefully you love what you're doing enough, but there's going to be parts of that job that you need to do that you don't love to do. So this book contends that, that you can be a good rainmaker regardless of, uh, if you're an introvert, you can still be a good rate maker because you are disciplined and you have a system for getting business. There is, I would call it the power of the system. I'd say the power of the system overrides everything and that's where most people fall down. They don't do it. Um, okay, so um, this is uh, some quotes that I thought were interesting. Um, everyone in the firm says I am so extroverted, but I have always thought of myself as an introvert. Um, he is not a born rainmaker. He doesn't have the gift of gab and is unprepossessing. He is soft-spoken. He is not comfortable with groups, but he has disciplined himself to be good at it. Um, Early on, I had a lot of problems with client development. I am very shy. The no, most people who know me would laugh if you told them this. I had a lot of difficulty going to those lunches, but I forced myself to do it. So I think this is, is very important because, um, you know, I can tell you that getting on the telephone and Robin and I were talking about this yesterday because I spent my morning on the phone yesterday calling prospects of this firm that we did not win over the past two years on the theory that they were probably that there were some of them who were going to be unhappy with the choices they made, and there were. And um, but it still takes a lot of guts and energy to do it, to get on the phone and call these people cold. And it's not even cold because they know who we are, most of them. So um, that's where the <coughs> discipline comes in. It's making yourself do it. Um, 
Okay. Um, there is no single way to make rain. And um, I wanted to, you to look at these examples, too. Um, now, you know, I will tell you this, that there is um, a difference of opinion that I've read about cold calling, just getting on the phone and calling cold. Um, some people think it works. Some people don't think it works. I think it's always better if there is a um, warm, um, a warm sale is better. In other words, if you sent an article in advance, you sent some information in advance, and then follow up on something, it's always better. But uh, Steve will tell you, who has done his share of cold calling, um, that uh, a lot of times when you send these things in advance, people say, oh, I never received that. So it's almost as if you're on a cold call anyway. Um, and so, I, but look, we, we use a telemarketer. We've, we've used them some years, as so currently we're using a telemarketer. And uh, we, we are definitely making headway with them. Uh, so there's mixed, mixed reviews on that. But let's look a little bit again, um, because I thought this quote was good. Um, he consciously sits down each morning and goes through a mental Rolodex of who he hasn't seen for a while and then calls to see if someone can have lunch. So what that implies, it says, is this well, first thing, each morning. And each morning, uh, he's going to take 15 minutes uh, or 30 minutes out of his day. And let's face it, most people waste 30 minutes out of their day. I remember uh, I wanted very much to get involved in sales. And my boss said to me, just start doing it. I said, yeah, but I've got all these clients and all these accounts. I don't really have time. He said, do you ever waste 15 minutes during your day? He said, you've got to. He said, take the, just do it. You know, I'm going to do it from 9.15 to 9.45. He said, and do it. And that was great advice. Um, well, I thought, this, he said, this guy goes through a mental Rolodex. I think it's good to keep your Rolodex, however you do it, you know, on your computer or whatever. Uh, he makes a list each day and makes a series of calls from it. So if you made a list uh, the night before or, and you put 10 people on the list, the likelihood is if you devote 30 minutes a day to it, you won't get through it. It'll take you a few days to get through that because you can't. If you get one person on the phone, that could end up being your 30 minutes. Um, he makes a list each day and makes a series of calls from it. When he hears about a possible piece of business, he will call around to find someone who can make an introduction for him. So he's trying to go in warmer by getting an intro into that particular lead. Um, he didn't have an awful lot of leads. Most of them came from past clients. 